there's going to be a lot of supporters there. We know that we're going to have a lot of travelling Hull FC supporters, which is brilliant. Um, there's going to be other supporters there from the games previous, and it's going to be a huge atmosphere. And, you know, as a player, as a coach, you want to be in these games. Um, and it's the best chance to put out your best performance as well. So, you know, it doesn't add any more pressure. It's just more enjoyable. Thanks, Brad. I'll, I'll, I'll let someone else have a go. Cheers for that. Thanks, Will. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll open it up to the floor if anybody uh, wants to jump in with any more questions for Brett. Hi, Brett. Uh, you mentioned there about the, the playoffs and still being in contention for them, but are we quickly entering into last chance saloon for this whole side in terms of opportunities are uh, slipping away? Do you really need to really turn the corner now and, and put the results uh, together and back it up with a few sort of wins just for momentum? Because uh, you really need to hit momentum now at the right time of the season. Yeah, you're right in that we, we do need to obviously win the next three games. But the fact is, is that there's no use thinking about the next two. Uh, we've got a big performance to put in against Leeds. Um, we need to make sure that we're getting back to what we've uh, done for a number of weeks this year and then what we know we can do. And have that resolve to defend errors, defend our try line and, and you know, turn Leeds away as many times as possible. So uh, we're going confident of, of a, a plan that can do that. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. And Brett, you mentioned Leeds and being you faced them twice already and you've gone toe to toe with them and they've been close sort of games. Does that give the side a sort of confidence knowing that if you can match those level of performance and just take those bits of extra percentages and that are needed to, to get them up or over the line, maybe an extra eek out, an extra three or four percent, that that would be good enough uh, in terms of is all about matching those earlier performance and taking them that one step further this time around? Uh, yeah, look, it, it's not about matching it because I think that's a negative mindset. I think it's for us, we have to take it to Leeds and we have to make sure that we're setting our standards and, you know, to see if they're good enough to match us. Um, if if we're going into the game hoping to just stick it with Leeds, then they're going to be way too good for us because it won't be the right mindset that we need. So, uh, you know, again, we're, we're going to go in there with a real clear plan and, and what's required to execute that plan. And finally, Brett, for me, you mentioned that you're going in there with a clear game plan and a clear sort of structure. How important really, Dean, is game management uh, throughout the game? And how important, critically, is the start for ye in terms of getting that real positive start, really, and being able to kick on to give yourself that sort of platform in the game, maybe early on to sort of bed yourself and feel yourself in, which will be a sort of a, a hostile enough in terms of a carnival sort of a, an atmosphere atmosphere as well. Is it important really to get out on the flat foot and really drive into the game early on? Yeah, no doubt. We have to start well. Um, you know, our, our end of sets haven't been great this last couple of weeks as well. So, you know, our start, putting them in the corner, making them come off their own try line and then hopefully forcing an issue um, and error out of yardage. So, um, yeah, it, it's crucial that the start of both halves uh, need to be top quality and, uh, you know, we need an 80-minute performance. Uh, simple as that. And if you don't play for 80 minutes against Leeds, then you won't often come up with a result. Cheers, Brett. Thank you.